What do you want to be when you grow up? I'm going to be an actor. Because in entanglement, the two particles are not, they don't really see past and future. They only see an entangled state. And the entangled state is present. That's why it doesn't matter whether it's billions, even billions of light years away. The two particles are entangled. Why? Because it's outside of space and time. If it's outside the space of time, then it is now. So that is the perennial message that, of course, mystical experiences tell us there's only the now. Now quantum theory comes in and says, you know, the beginning and the end, the alpha and the omega, the start and the end, are really parts of the now. So if you thought the picture of the black hole that came out about a month or so ago was, if you thought that was impressive, then hold on to your hats because now we have a photo of quantum entanglement, no less. An actual photo that was supposedly revealed <laughs> just the other day and I could not resist saying something about it because... Yeah, I mean... Scientists unveiled the first ever image of quantum entanglement. For the first time ever, physicists have managed to take a photo of a strong form of quantum entanglement called Bell entanglement, capturing visual evidence of an elusive phenomenon which a baffled Albert Einstein once called spooky action at a distance. Two particles which interact with each other, like two photons passing through a beam splitter, for example, can sometimes remain connected, instantaneously sharing their physical states no matter how great the distance which separates them. This connection is known as quantum entanglement, and it underpins the field of quantum mechanics. And I've talked about this quite a bit. Einstein thought quantum mechanics was spooky because of the instantaneousness of the apparent remote interaction between two entangled particles, which seem incompatible with elements of his special theory of relativity. Later, Sir John Bell formalized this concept of non-local interaction, describing a strong form of entanglement exhibiting this spookiness. Today, while Bell entanglement is being harnessed in practical applications like quantum computing and cryptography, it's never been captured in a single image. In a paper published today in the journal Science Advances, a team of physicists from the University of Glasgow describe how they have made Einstein's spookiness visible in an image for the first time. They devised a system which fires a stream of entangled photons from a quantum source of light at, quote, non-conventional objects, displayed on liquid crystals materials which change the phase of the photons as they pass through. They set up a super-sensitive camera capable of detecting single photons which would only take an image when it caught sight of both one photon and its entangled twin. That's a pretty advanced camera. Wow. Dr. Paul Antoine Moreau of the University of Glasgow School of Physics and Astronomy is the paper's lead author. Dr. Moreau said, The image we've managed to capture is an elegant demonstration of a fundamental property of nature, seen for the very first time in the form of an image. And yeah, that, that's, that's the image there. Those are apparently the two quantum particles that are entangled. Those two, uh... <laughs> yeah, and it bears a striking resemblance to lots of other photos we've seen of various phenomena. It's an exciting result which could be used to advance the emerging field of quantum computing and lead to new types of imaging. The paper titled Imaging Bell-Type Non-Local Behavior is published in Science Advances. So that's weird enough, right, and ridiculous, but even weirder is that... So most of the articles I found 
referenced the University of Glasgow, and yet this article by Interesting Engineering somehow claims that SETI was the one that captured the first photo of quantum entanglement. They don't actually show the image, but uh, it's a real short article, and yeah, talking about Einstein and spooky action at a distance. Thanks to new efforts by the... SETI Institute out of Mountain View, California. You can now see a picture of what Einstein famously called spooky action at a distance. So, interesting. Like, was it the University of Glasgow, or was it SETI? Or is there a connection and they're just not... Say, even the SETI Institute tweeted this. Scientists have captured the first ever image of a phenomenon Albert Einstein described as spooky action at a distance. Photo shows a strong form of quantum entanglement, where two particles interact and share physical states for an instant. So those are th those two blotchy things with all the speckles. That those are particles, apparently. Right. And yeah, Bell entanglement and the liquid crystal state. I mean, it's like the same story, and yet they're talking about SETI. The applications made possible by understanding this remarkable SETI image exceed description. In the worlds of 5G and beyond, it can eventually mean totally unbreakable encryption and new ways of imaging previously unheard of. Einstein and Bell surely must nod their approval from their quantum distance. I mean, it's so, so ridiculous. So yeah, uh, at this point, it's it's Glasgow and or SETI. Would, why would SETI be taking pictures of quantum entanglement, you know, in any narrative? But okay. So yeah, it's just, I don't, what is there to even say? Like how off the rails and bizarre things are getting, I mean, the, the stuff like this comes out pretty much every other day now. I, I can't even, I can't even count the number of articles I've seen since I did the video on the, the black hole image and uh, every, yeah, just constantly talking about how, oh yeah, now now we've just discovered that black holes uh, have formed in ways that we previously thought impossible, and some of them, you know, didn't even come from stars, and it's, it, it just never ends. It's like this constant stream of, of just nonsense. But of course, everything has to have an image, and, because uh, <laughs> it's not real until people can see an image. So yeah, that's that's the latest uh, scientific discovery in quantum physics. Apparently, even though we can't make up our minds as to who made this made this discovery, but yeah, these are these two particles that are uh, momentarily. I mean, when you when you listen to the physicists talk about quantum entanglement, they say that it only happens for like a tiny like millionth of a second. But this camera can actually detect when both particles were in view, and it knew exactly when to take the picture. I love it. And then there are these fuzzy blotchy crescent shaped things that those are each one of those grainy things is apparently a particle two th there you go you got a picture now so you know the people that want to believe that this is is all legitimate there there's i mean that's all, that's all they need right it's just just a freaking image of some donut shaped black hole quote unquote or entangled quantum particles or you know whatever else we just we just pump out a image and there you go that's that's proof right so so much crazy stuff that's been going on <clears throat> and yeah it's hard to even i mean i could make videos like this on a daily basis pr practically and it's you almost get to the point of like yeah what what's the point it's just it's being pumped out so fast and that uh it's just insane. And so, yeah, I've, I've been trying to... I've, I've been reading a lot of stuff, but haven't been able to put together much on on so much of this stuff. I've been working on another video dealing with uh, the blockchain uh, developments with that, with, with these, like, micro countries such as Malta. It started out more as a regular video, and it's kind of been growing into something bigger, so I apologize that it's been a couple of weeks since I put something out, but I've been working on that, and we'll kind of see what that turns into, but it's kind of one of those things where it just kind of keeps snowballing, and you find more and more stuff, and so that is in the works, and hopefully that'll start coming together soon. Um, thanks for all your good feedback on the Moonlight video. Uh, admittedly, <laughs> I was a little annoyed with myself in the way that, um, I don't know, it's weird because on the one hand, I've been talking about enclosed cosmology and the moon and electromagnetism and all this stuff for, you know, since 
2016, if not 2015, and um, apparently the way I worded some of it, it, like a lot of people were like, you know, the moonlight's actually cold, you know, and uh, yeah, I, I do know. I'm, I'm sitting here questioning particle physics and been doing that for a while and uh, all this quantum mysticism stuff that um, <laughs> that little audio clip at the beginning was from from one of our friends at uh, Science and Non-Duality or SAND, which I've talked about in the past. He was talking about um, quantum entanglement and how it just represents now that it's ti- outside of space and time so of course we're getting into all these mystical metaphysical um connections to entanglement but you know science is proving it is true we have we have the photo now <laughs> we have the photo and uh, i guess you can go read the paper but um you know how it's projected onto some liquid crystal material and non-conventional objects i mean you gotta love this stuff the way they uh they, they uh, creatively come up with ways to take pictures of things that are just absurdly impossible and ridiculous and so yeah in the end, it's hard to really escape. I mean, and of course, in every article you read, they always bring in the, the issue of quantum computing. They always got to mention that. So it really is all about validating, I believe, this new wave of, of technology, this quantum computing that's going to connect with 5G and AI. Um, it's all kind of a package deal. So they have to sell the public. And it's like nobody's even paying attention, really, like, even on YouTube, there was only videos with a few hundred views at the most on, on this <laughs> history-making scientific discovery of quantum particles being entangled on in a photo. So, I mean, there's just so much junk being pumped out. It's it's hard to keep up with anything, but um, I'm still here, still still working away, and uh, yeah, just trying to kind of keep my my brain from being fried by all all the insanity on so many levels so uh, thanks for all your support those of you who have been been supporting me through patreon or through paypal i really do appreciate that that's been really awesome and yeah i'm working away i know there hasn't been a lot of stuff coming out too often in the last uh, month or so but i've been doing a lot behind the scenes and, and kind of working on the next um kind of gearing up for for another big project and and trying to kind of refocus a lot of my research, you know, that takes time, just a lot of time watching and reading and gathering materials. So thank you for all your patience. Thank you for all your encouragement and support. Sorry that I maybe didn't explain my intentions and my background with the Moonlight Experiment when I put that out, but that's going to be, I'm going to be doing that again either tonight or tomorrow with the, the next full moon. Obviously, it doesn't even need to be full, but yes, the idea is to really see if you could magnify the cold effects of moonlight. That would be obviously the ultimate finding, right? That, I mean, how cool would it be to be, make your own lunar freeze ray? So, you know, who knows, but I'm trying to kind of do it slowly and methodically and, you know, do quote unquote legit science and not just take a few temperature readings and claim that the moonlight is making it colder. But I really want to see it drop. I really want to see if I can, uh, fine-tune this experiment to really get some awesome indisputable results and then of course they would need to be replicated by other people so that's why i wanted to to share like go ahead and make your own fresnel lens and share it and we could do a compilation or something like that so quantum entanglement photo (laughs) enough said that's news not fake news i promise it's real science All right, God bless. Talk to you guys soon.